It truly is a momentous year for the Tucson International Jewish Film Festival. They are celebrating their 25th no. season. That's so it's great. Huge. Now, before we chat with our guests from the festival, here's a preview of one of the films that's called Advanced Style. I am dressed up for the theater of my life every day. I get such a kick out of it. I take it to the nth degree. Most people don't. At one time, I had no self-confidence, and I didn't think I could do anything. I came into my own about 10 years ago. So there we are. I feel the same as I did when I was 18, but I have fewer cares. I never wanted to look young. I wanted to look great. I think good style improves the environment for everybody. I don't find it very challenging to go to the fancy stores and just buy the latest trend. When I was 18, I wanted to go to Paris so you could turn it around and put the eight in front and the one in behind. <laughs> there is no time limit to anything. When you look good, you look good. Well, That's us in like another 40 years. That's us. 40 years, try yeah. two years. <laughs> well, that was actually one of two dozen films from around the world celebrating Jewish culture and universal themes. It's ready to kick off in a few days, and Lynn Davis and Steve Zupchich are here to tell us what we can expect. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Well, thank you. Good well, morning. That was a great example of yeah. what we can expect, and I can't believe we're in our 25th season already, so this is a really kind of a big year. Yeah. So, Steve, I want to start with you. How do you kind of pick your films for the festival. Okay, I um, almost reluctantly agreed to chair this uh, process. It's ve and the reason I say that is that it's a very organic process where we get 16 people around uh, a number of films, probably three times as many as that are actually screened. And uh, we screen them, argue about them, <laughs> praise them, <laughs> and uh, really handpick these films. This isn't a prepackaged film festival at all. Uh, and uh, we get uh, suggestions really from all over the country, all over the world, ah. really. And uh, they're brought first to uh, usually Lynn or my attention or to the attention of one of the committee members. And then they bring these films to the committee. And then you guys have to go through that, you know, painstaking process of whittling right. it down. But is there kind of a theme to, to the festival? You know, that's, yeah. we often get that question. Yeah. And it would be lovely to start out with a theme in mind and, and yeah. get to pick th f films that way. And that doesn't often happen. But what does happen is I think without without fail a theme emerges organically every year, um, whether it's social justice issues or music or or what have you. And this year I think that that clip exemplifies beautifully. We have several really interesting quality films about aging, and aging in a very active, dynamic way. Um, stories about people making choices, whether they're about end of life or later years, or how they choose how they choose to live their lives, and they're really affirming and really amazing. So is then that what we're kind of talking about when we say universal themes? Because we know it's going to be Jewish content, but universal themes is, is also how we're billing it. Exactly, exactly. And I think our challenge, our mission really is to convince people that there is something in this festival for everyone. Um, Jewish content is often defined very loosely. It could be a Jewish director. It could be a famous, famous Israeli actor. It could be um, about Jewish holidays or ritual or values or what have you. But we firmly believe that there is something Something in there for everyone. Well, as we were saying, this is a, a momentous year because it's the 25th season. Do you guys kind of see how maybe things have changed over the seasons or are some things from season one exactly the way they are this year? You know, how, how do you kind of tell the difference? Uh, between, you mean how the seasons have yeah. changed? Yeah. If anything, the, the films have become much more diverse. Oh. Uh, it, it, it's no longer um, sort of, uh, oh, this is Jewish culture, what everybody imagines it is. Uh, and, and we have films from all over the world. Mr. Kaplan is a Spanish language film from Uruguay. Uh, we have films from, we have a wonderful film, To Life, also Lieben from Germany. 
uh, that very much speaks to the uh, issue of aging. Uh, and, and it's this diversity of film from all over the world that, uh, that's really struck me as, if anything, that's become much more pronounced. Wow. So a wide variety, a wide variety of films that are going to be in the festival, something for everybody. So what are you really kind of hoping the audience members take away from this? I hope people take advantage of this rich collection of international independent filmmaking. Um, you know, we used to, one of the things I think that has changed actually over the years, we used to say these are films that wouldn't normally find a screen in our market. But what we have seen is that so many films that would have been uniquely for the Tucson International Jewish Film Festival are finding a screen at the loft, are finding a screen at other local theaters. And I think that that speaks to the quality and universal nature of a bunch of these films that would have been so niche once upon a time that that are really reaching a greater audience so I hope people take advantage of this opportunity well personally for both of you guys do you do you have something that you think is a big highlight of, of this festival something you're looking forward to even though you may have already uh, see <laughs> right. you know, see what's coming up more than once yeah <laughs> there but is there something you're, you're looking they're for? all my babies they're yeah. all my babies but um, with advanced style we have a, the great opportunity. We're doing a fashion show and luncheon um, this Friday the 15th at noon at the Tucson JCC. And so we will have some of our local fashion mavens taking the stage. Maya Pallas and Lynn Raylo are sponsoring the afternoon. And, um, and the filmmaker will be here, Ari Cohen wow. will be here, um, to do a Q&A following. So that should be really a lot of fun. Do you have a highlight you want to throw in there? Highlight I want to throw in. Actually, our uh, entry into the uh, Tucson Film Festival was Raise the Roof. Yeah. We're closing with that film along with a closing party uh, uh, at the end of the festival. And I think Raise the Roof, it was so is so special just because it's it's such a colorful film it's a beautiful film yeah. uh, that approaches things in a very unexpected way uh, and uh, I, I, I really love it that's amazing well I want to congratulate you guys on the 25th season and I'm gonna let everybody know all the details about the festival but thank you for coming here letting us get a little sneak peek of uh, one of the films I think that looks amazing it should be a lot of fun <laughs> thank you guys now the Tucson International Jewish Film Festival opens this Thursday at the loft and runs through the 23rd at the Tucson JCC tickets and a full schedule are available at Tucson Jewish Film Festival org you can also call them at 615-5432